All of our projects are not something we fabricated or something the students created. These are problems that industry or government agencies are working on, and they've contracted us to solve these problems. If you take a student and say, here, the only thing you have to do, though, is you have to deliver in the end. That's a big responsibility you normally don't give a student. We have a few deadlines, and everything else is sort of up to us, which is a little terrifying. The thing that is common between all of our projects is this aluminum gallium fuel. If you put regular aluminum in water, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to sit there. And that's because aluminum forms a really stable oxide layer that stops it from reacting with anything. Now, when we introduce the gallium, that takes this oxide layer away. You basically take away the stop, and then it keeps going, and you produce a bunch of hydrogen, and you can take that hydrogen and run it through a fuel cell to produce electricity. It basically solves a lot of energy problems that the world faces today. We not only produce the fuel, but we also are figuring out ways to make it cheaper, make it faster, and just make it commercially available. So my project for this class is an aluminum Field vehicle, small scale um, power system for emergency situations. Sort of a drop in energy supply system. So 2014 is based in uh, Beaverworks, which is sponsored by Lincoln Labs. The advantages are huge with having a space like that, especially when the projects are so connected with Lincoln Labs themselves. What Lincoln Lab had in mind when they helped start this class was if they engaged the students, uh, many fantastic ideas would come out of this. The sponsors are great. They come to our presentations and give us input. It's one of the first experiences where we really have a mentor who is not just there to give us a grade, but is also there because they believe that we can solve something. So we're basically in the shop all day, just putting things together, trying it, and iterating on that. We do a lot of testing. We run our system and see what happens, and sometimes it's not what we expected. Oh, that's okay. fast. That's very fast. Oh my god. And it does happen that we end up back at the drying board. Right now, our technical issues are just revolving around putting everything together. It's very difficult because no one has ever reacted the amount of fuel we are reacting at once. I'm so invested in this project, and at this point, I just really want it to work. I think it's given me a place where I can have a pretty big engineering challenge that's all my own, that's all my team's own. I'm learning that you need a team. If you all do your part, it will actually come together. Since I'm actually building these systems and, and putting them together and seeing them work, I'm actually growing a lot of confidence as an engineer. I, at times it's really hard, but it's, it's very valuable. Students are developing pride in their work. They're developing passion. They're experiencing what it's like to work on something very, very, very hard, want it very badly, and succeed. You have to feel it for the first time to understand what you're searching for. And I think they find that in this class.